Hi guys, welcome back to another van video and this week we're looking at how I made maybe the most expensive but possibly the best insulated van curtains you can possibly make. Now I've got to clear a couple of facts. These aren't cheap, these are definitely far more than just having some fabric up in front of your windows, however these are insulated and will make a big big difference. When it came to materials there are a few things you will need. A ton of vinyl, a ton of, I think this is like Reflectix, but I just brought a heap of sunshades because they were cheaper than the actual Reflectix material, but it's like silver bubble wrap that goes in front of your car windshields. I got the biggest ones I possibly could and I brought a heap of them. I also have filled these with woolen insulation. To add the insulation you'll need a sewing machine, you'll need some coin magnets, quite a lot of them and they need to be incredibly strong because they need to magnetize through this insulation to attach to the side of your van. Also throughout this video I'm going to say I and we quite a lot but in truth is my mum did just about all this work. I do not know how to use an industrial sewing machine or any sewing machine at all so I'm going to mention me a lot but all the credit for this definitely goes out to my mum. To start with I measured out dimensions for a window, then with a huge cardboard box I acquired from outside a department store, I cut out a shape required to more than cover that window. Then with that far more manageable sized piece of cardboard, I tried my best to trace out the shape required for my insulated curtains to fill the window gap. Nearly all of my van windows have a metal surround and the end goal is to have them sitting inside the window frame nearly flush with the walls of my van. I say tried my best because on my own this is tricky and I definitely made mistakes. But I compensated for this by writing notes on my template about where I needed to go a little wider and by how much. However, if you have a second set of hands to help with this step, it will 100% make things easier. Plus, while making my templates, I did add some markers as where I'd like to attach magnets sewed into my curtains to attach to the side of my van. Once I had made all my templates, I then traced it out onto both the vinyl and the sunshades. As a couple of side notes for this stage, do take extra special care to make sure you have your templates up the right way when tracing. While most templates can be used for two windows in the van, do make sure to flip them over when tracing for the window on the opposite side. You can keep the price down on these curtains with a lot of pre-measuring and planning before purchasing materials. I could have planned better, but got pretty lucky. I also needed to cut out a ton of very long 45mm wide strips. These are to go around the outside of my curtains, and the less joins you need with these, the easier the sewing process will be. But if you can, try and factor in these long strips when tracing onto your vinyl. Now I say 45 millimeters wide, but yours might not need to be 45 millimeters wide. See, my insulation inside of my curtains was advertised as 35 millimeters thick, and I plan to use, say, 5 to 10 mils on each side to disappear inside of the curtains as, as seams inside, for something to attach all the materials to. So yours might be a different size, and while mine are 45 with 35 millimeter insulation, it might sound a bit snug, a bit snug on the edges for me didn't bother me as they definitely puff out a bit in the middle. Finally, when using your templates, make sure both the vinyl and the sunshades are 10 millimeters bigger on every single edge all the way around as well. As once again, this will appear inside of the curtain once things are all sewed up. So with the shells cut, it's time to start assembling. To start with, cut some little pockets out of spare vinyl and mark on your sunshade bubble wrap where these are going to be sewed on. These need to be big enough to fit the magnets inside and remember to have them about 10 millimeters from the edge so you have enough space to sew things together shortly. You also don't need magnets all the way around. On this one here I've only got magnets at the top because at the bottom I've got the box storage that holds it in place. So it just needs to slip in and then magnetize at the top. We found the best way to start was to sew the vinyl edge to the vinyl face to begin with. But before doing so add marks to everything all the way around for where the materials are meant to meet up. The reason this became very important is because as you are sewing, vinyl likes to stretch a little and can result in some puckered edges if one piece of vinyl is stretched more than another piece as it is being attached together. Also, we assembled ours inside out. This is so the vinyl seams on the inside are not visible, but it is very important to leave a very big gap at the bottom and I'd recommend making this, say, over a foot wide. This space is so once most of the work is done, you can turn the curtain in the right way hiding those seams, plus have enough space to then squeeze in the insulation. To get the insulation to the right size was easy, we just placed our original cardboard template over the top and traced it out exactly. No need to get 10mm wider for this as the insulation isn't getting sewed onto anything. Squeeze that insulation inside the curtain and then with a long arm reach inside adding your magnets to the pockets you sewed in earlier, making sure they are facing away from the insulation so they stick to the side of your van. 
you will get the odd window where the curtain doesn't attach well enough mostly because there is not enough metallic edges around the side of the window for example that back window behind me there is plastic above and there's no metallic surface above so to get around that I attached this I then doned on this little off cut from my original sunshades and used the suction cups that came with them to then suck onto the window then to close everything up we rolled over both edges of the remaining hole and sold these together leaving a very small tidy seam at the bottom of the curtain and just repeat that process for every single window and you are good to go as always guys thank you so much for following along if you have any questions do let me know down in the comments below not much longer to go now before this van is on the road and i am so excited to get out and about but otherwise until next time i'll catch you next time